Hello, welcome to Granny Mo's Bookshelf. Today's book will be The Camel Who Took a Walk. By Jack Tor uh, Torkov. Jack Torkov. There's a lot of my scribbles from childhood. To Hermine and Helen from Jack and Roger. The Camel Who Took a Walk. Pictures by Roger Duvosen. The Camel Who Took a Walk. The forest was very dark. It was dark and very quiet. Not a creature was stirring. Even the wind had stopped breathing. Not a leaf was falling. Not a blade of grass was moving. And why? And do you know why this was so? Because it was the time between night and day when the night was ending and the day was about to begin. Night in the forest is very dark and it creeps in slowly. At the time our story begins, it was still very dark in the forest. It was also very warm. All the creatures were very quiet, but the quietest of all was the tiger. The tiger was lying at the foot of a tree by the side of the road that divided the forest in half. It would have been very hard to see the tiger because he was hidden by the leaves, flowers, vines, and grasses. He was also hidden by the darkness. Here's the tiger. There's the path. Suddenly, the first glimmer of light trembled in the sky. The sky, the forest, and even the air began to turn blue. Just then, the road that divided the forest in half, far, far up that road, right near the horizon, which is where the, su the, sky and the, <laughs> the sky and the ground meet. Something, yes, something was moving. Now the tiger might have been sleeping, but if you could have looked into his face, you would have seen that one eye, the eye facing the thing that was moving, was open, just the tiniest, tiniest crack. And when a tiger's eye is open, the tiniest crack when you then you know that that tiger is not sleeping, as he would have you believe, but he is watching and thinking. Now the thing that was moving and the, th and the tiger that was watching was drawing nearer and nearer, and the sky was getting bluer and bluer, and the light on the road had turned pink. So you could see the thing would, that the thing was, oh, you will be surprised. There's the tiger. A very beautiful camel with soft brown eyes was taking her morning walk. She walked oh so slowly, so gracefully, with her head way up in the air, and her nose smelled the early morning sweetness. And her eyes took in all the blue and pink colors of the sky. The tiger who was lying at the foot of the tree was thinking, as soon as this beautiful camel comes to where the shadow of the tree crosses the road, I am going to pounce on her. There's the lovely camel taking the walk. But the tiger was not the only one who saw the camel walking down the road. Way up in a tree on a branch directly over the tiger sat a little monkey. And he knew what the tiger was thinking about. So he very quietly reached for a coconut and held it in his hands. And he said to himself, just as soon as that tiger is about to pounce on the camel, I will drop this coconut on his head. There's the little monkey. And all the while, the beautiful camel walked gracefully down the road, turning her pretty head this way and that. And the sky got brighter and brighter. There's the camel walking down the road. There's the monkey in the tree right there. And where's the tiger? There's the tiger. I found him. But the tiger and the monkey were not the only ones who saw the beautiful camel. On the same tree, a little squirrel with his bright eyes had seen what was going on. And the little squirrel very quietly crept up behind the monkey's tail. And the little squirrel said to himself, as soon as that monkey is ready to drop the coconut, 
on the tiger's head. I will bite his tail. There's the squirrel. All the while, the beautiful camel walked gracefully down the road, turning her pretty head this way and that, while the sky grew brighter and brighter. There she is. She's a little closer now. And there's the monkey, and there's the squirrel. And there's the tiger. But the tiger and the monkey and the squirrel were not the only ones who saw that beautiful camel walk. The little bird was watching what the tiger and the monkey and the squirrel were up to. And the little bird said to himself, Aha! I knew she'll... I know what I shall do. As soon as the squirrel is ready to bite the monkey's tail, I shall pounce with my sharp claws upon his tiny head. And now the tiger was so excited, so excited, he forgot to keep his tail still. He swished it from this side, from side to side, this way and that. And there's a the little bird. Meanwhile, the camel was getting nearer and nearer and the sun was getting hotter and hotter. And the camel was getting warmer and warmer. And just as the camel had almost reached the shadow of the tree, and the tiger and the monkey and all the others were getting ready. There's the camel there. There's a the little bird up in the tree. And there's the squirrel and the monkey and the tiger. The camel suddenly stopped and stretched her pretty ne neck way up to the sky. She opened her mouth oh so wide and she let out an awful yawn. <gasps> and she said sweetly in an ordinary sort of voice. There she is. They're all ready to get her. The tiger's ready to pounce. The monkey's ready to drop the coconut. The squirrel's ready to bite the monkey's tree. And the the bird's ready to jump on the t on the squirrel's head. And there's the camel taking a big, big yawn. And sweetly in an ordinary voice, she said, I think I will go back. <laughs> the tiger was so flabbergasted, which means he was so surprised that he, just when he should have, he didn't pounce on the camel and the monkey didn't drop his coconut on the squirrel. The, uh, the drop his coconut and the squirrel didn't bite the monkey's tail and the bird didn't pounce on the squirrel's head and they didn't do all of these things in the same instant for just a tiny second no one said anything not one sound was heard then the little bird burst into a peal of laughter that pierced the forest and the squirrel began to chatter and the monkey began to jump up and down with such glee that all the creatures in the forest woke up crying, what happened? What happened? There's all the creatures wondering what's going on. And there's the tiger looking <laughs> flabbergasted. And there's a little bird laughing at the top of the tree and the monkey. Everyone's <laughs> making noise now. The quiet of the morning stopped. But you know what happened? Nothing happened. The beautiful camel just turned away turned around and walked back the same way she had come and the tiger slinked away into the deep dark forest and the sun shone like brass in the sky and there goes the camel this book was written it was part of the lending collection Massachusetts division of public library libraries my father used to work for there, and that's where he got this book. And this was written in 1951, copyright 1951. And I'm pretty sure it is out of print. So I hope you enjoyed that. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, you know, do the thing. Love you all. Bye-bye.